This is the tow dolly I used last week when I towed home a blue 1983 300SD. Most of you know what these are and you know what they do. But I got a lot of questions and I got some comments. I actually had some dangerous comments, which I didn't allow. Because a lot of times people hear these things and say, oh, why not? You know, people were asking, well, Kent, why did you have to unhook the drive shaft? Hey, Kent, why couldn't you tow the car backwards so you didn't have to do that? Hey, Kent, why didn't you take a car trailer? One guy thought I was kind of an idiot because I couldn't figure out how to just put the car on backwards and I wouldn't have to worry about the drive shaft. So you see, this is the kind of misinformation and misunderstanding that really can be quite dangerous. There's been a couple of instances where people have tried to tow these cars backwards, where the trailer has completely gone out of control and actually flipped the car over, particularly if it's a lightweight car. When you're towing one of these heavy Mercedes diesels, right off the bat, you don't want to be towing it with a tow dolly with any car less than 4,500 pounds. You need the weight there. So what I'm going to do in this quick video is just to explain why I did what I did. One guy says, well, Ken, if you would have bought a trailer, you wouldn't have had this problem. I know that. In fact, <laughs> you'll be happy to know that about two years ago, I sold my car trailer because I didn't want to have the temptation to go out and save all these old Mercedes. You know, if you don't have a car trailer, it, it makes it hard. But in this case, I thought, OK, I'm going to take a tow dolly because I've got it here. And, uh, you know, it'll be a good opportunity to show people what's involved. Unfortunately, I didn't explain everything in great detail. Number one. And Mercedes recommends this. You will actually find this in some of the manuals of these older cars. You are not supposed to tow a Mercedes Benz with an automatic transmission for any great distance at any high speed or you will ruin the transmission because it's not getting proper lubrication. So Mercedes in a number of their publications will tell you, okay, you can drive it so many miles under 45, 40 miles an hour and you'll be okay. And that's what I do. If I only have to go five miles or less, and I don't plan to go over 35 miles an hour, I'll roll the car right on the tow dolly, and I'll go off, and I'll be no problem. But I was coming up from Seattle, two hour drive, at 60 to 65 miles an hour. And that can destroy a transmission. That's number one. Number two, you do not, and I'm gonna repeat, you do not wanna put these cars on a tow dolly backwards and tow them over 35 miles an hour. Once you hit 60 miles an hour, you can get into a really dangerous situation because of the heavy weight in the front of a Mercedes diesel is way out there past these tires. You'll start to get this thing to sway and it can actually get out of control and flip the trailer and even flip the car towing it if the car is not heavy enough. So that's really important you understand that. You do not want to put these cars on a tow dolly backwards if you're going to go on the freeway and go 60 miles an hour or you will scare the living daylights out of yourself. <laughs> I've talked to a couple people who have done that. So I hope this is helpful. You might be thinking I'm trying to scare you and that's the intent because once again, you tow these things backwards at high speed. It's very, very dangerous. And if you tow them on the ground, any length of distance at high speed, without disconnecting the drive shaft, you will ruin the transmission.